Salam students, welcome back. Let us continue with the revision of history lesson number 3 in the earliest cities. Today we shall revise about new crafts in the city in search of raw materials and food for people in the cities. Now let us start with the first topic, new crafts in the city. Children, most of the things that have been found by the archaeologists, what are they made of? They are made of stone, shell and metal, including copper, bronze, gold and silver. And how were copper and bronze used? Copper and bronze were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments and vessels. And how were gold and silver used? Gold and silver were used to make ornaments and vessels. Children, the most striking finds are those of the stone weights, beads and blades. Now let us revise about them. Stone weights. What are stone weights? Stone weights they were made of chert that is a kind of stone and these were probably used to weigh precious stones or metals. Now let us revise about beads. Children many of these they were made out of carnelian a beautiful red stone and the stone it was cut shaped, polished and finally a hole was bored through the center so that a string could be passed through it. Here in the images you can see the stone weights and the ornaments that were made out of beads. Now let us see what did the Harappans make. The Harappans they also made seals out of stone and these are generally rectangular and usually have an animal carved on them. The Harappans they also made pots with beautiful black designs. Children here you can see the images of the seals, the pot and in the far right you can see the stone blades that were made and used by the Harappans. Now let us revise about cotton. Children cotton was probably grown at Mehargar from about 7000 years ago. How many years ago? About 7000 years ago. And how did the archaeologists know that the cloth was used in the Harappan civilization? The archaeologists, they found out the actual pieces of cloth that were attached to the lid of a silver vase. And they also found some copper objects at Mohanjadaru. And archaeologists have also found spindle whorls made of terracotta and faience and these were used to spin thread. Children, what is faience? Unlike stone or shell, how are they found? They are found naturally, but faience is a material that is artificially produced. And what was used to shape sand or powdered quartz into an object? A gum was used to shape sand or powdered quartz into an objects and the objects were then glazed resulting in a shiny glassy surface. Children what were the colors of the glaze? The colors of the glaze were usually blue or sea green and can you list some of the uses of faience? Faience was used to make beads, bangles, earrings and tiny vessels. Children Many of the things that were produced, they were probably the work of specialists. Who is specialist? Can you give some examples? A specialist is a person who is trained to do only one kind of work. For example, cutting stone or polishing beads or carving seals. Now let us revise about embroidered cloth. Children, here you can see a stone statue. It is of an important man that was found from Mohanjadaro and this shows him wearing an embroidered garment and you can also see the face and the beard. It is carved carefully. So this must have been the work of an expert craftsperson and everybody could not have been a specialist. So perhaps some women and men they may have been specialists. Now let us revise the next topic in search of raw materials. 
children can you define raw materials raw materials are substances that are either found naturally such as wood or ores of metals or produced by farmers or herders and these are then processed to produce the finished goods we can take an example of cotton that is produced by farmers it is a raw material that may be processed to make cloth while some of the raw materials that the harappans used they were available locally but many items such as copper tin gold silver and precious stones they had to be brought from distant places so where did the harappans get the raw materials from the harappans got raw materials from various places that is they got copper probably from present day rajasthan and also from oman and tin was brought from afghanistan and iran gold was brought maybe from karnataka and precious stones they were brought from gujarat iran and afghanistan children can you tell which two metals form the alloy bronze tin and copper these are the two metals which form the alloy bronze that is tin it is mixed with copper to produce bronze now let us revise the next topic food for people in the cities while many people they lived in the cities but others those who were living in the countryside they grew crops and reared animals so who supplied food to the crafts persons scribes and rulers in the cities these farmers and herders they supplied food to crafts persons scribes and rulers in the cities and the harappans they grew wheat barley pulses peas rice sesame linseed and mustard so the harappans they ate these things and these things we eat even today children can you tell what was the use of the plow a new tool that is the plow it was used to dig the earth for turning the soil and planting seeds while real plows have not survived but toy models have been found and as this region does not receive heavy rainfall so some form of irrigation may have been used children can you tell how did the harappans used to irrigate their fields and grow crops through stored water this means that water was stored and supplied to the fields when the plants were growing children which animals were reared by the harappans the harappans reared cattle sheep goat and buffalo and what were available around settlements water and pastures were available around their settlements however in the dry summer months large herds of these animals they were probably taken to greater distances in search of grass and water and what did the harappans do the harappans they collected fruits like bear caught fish and hunted wild animals like the antelope children here we can see on the top the image of toy cart this shows that the wheel was used in carts and pottery and we can see the image of seal and at the bottom we can see a toy plow we know that today in many farming communities only men they use the plow but we do not know whether the harappans followed such customs or not now let's discuss children make a list of all the terracotta toys that are shown in the lesson and which do you think children would have enjoyed playing with the most the list of terracotta toys shown in this lesson are animal figures wheeled vehicles and toy plow and the children they would have enjoyed playing with the wheeled vehicles most and can you write a short note on farming methods and rearing that is done by the harappan farmers and herders the harappans we know that they grew wheat barley pulses peas rice sesame linseed and mustard and a new tool called 
plough was used to dig earth for turning the soil and planting seeds and due to little rainfall a method of irrigation was probably used and the harappans they reared cattle sheep goats and buffaloes water and pastures were present around many sites and people collected fruits like bear caught fish and hunted wild animals like the antelope now children let's have a quiz pick the correct options first one the alloy of tin and dash is called bronze a zinc b copper c gold d platinum what's the correct option correct b copper the alloy of tin and copper is called bronze second one the harappans got gold from present day dash a karnataka b afghanistan c iran d west asia what's the correct answer yes a karnataka the harappans got gold from present day karnataka now third one dash supplied food to crafts persons scribes and rulers in the cities a local citizens b farmers and herders c postmen d all of these what's the correct option correct b farmers and herders farmers and herders supplied food to crafts persons scribes and rulers in the cities children today we have completed the revision of part 2 of history lesson number 3 we shall continue with the revision of this lesson in our next class till we meet again goodbye children